Good morning, everyone. Today, I am becoming the patient at the dental office. Let me explain to y'all what's going on. Ooh. Okay, so today, I'm going to my dentist to get a lingual phrenectomy. Essentially, what that means is I have a tongue tie, which is a dental condition known as ankyloglossia. Uh, my tongue tie is very prominent and I decided to finally get it clipped. I was, I honestly have been looking into it since uh, last year in dental school. At my last uh, dental appointment, I asked my dentist about it. He mentioned that they have a laser, they could do it, told me about the recovery, etc. But I figured I would document it all. So there's a few reasons why I decided to document all of it. Number one, I want to humanize dentists. People hate going to the dentist I mean, like, I'm human too. I'm no different than y'all. I hated going to the dentist growing up. I think the difference is now I just realized the importance of it and the importance of going twice a year for your cleaning. It's called recall, but I'm trying to use layman's terms. Number two, I want to document the process because I was looking on YouTube and there isn't really much about it. Considering most of the time people get these, like, cut as a baby and they don't really, like, consciously have to worry about the recovery, the, the exercises that you have to do. My dentist was telling me about that the last time um, and all that stuff, pain, etc. Like I'm gonna tell y'all how it all goes. So people that might be looking into this procedure can do a quick Google search, YouTube search, come across a video, bring, you know, bring it to my channel, you know. I, when I was uh, like 16, maybe 16 or 17, I had a buckle phrenectomy. So that's basically a lip tie and I had it cut here. I don't know how well it's gonna sh show on the camera, but I had that cut because it was like bringing my gap back after I got my braces off the first time. But now I'm getting my tongue tie clipped. As you can see, it's very prominent. Number one, that's like that's kind of painful. Sticking my tongue out has always been associated with like mild pain for me. I just kind of got used to it. Um, number two, uh, there has definitely been numerous occasions where i've been eating like a a chip a pretzel mainly stuff like that chips pretzels uh something hard uh and like it'll cut it'll literally cut it and like oh it's so painful it's so painful um when i'm sick it's more painful um yeah so i just decided it's time to get rid of it like it's time for me to you know get this cut off so this morning at 10 o'clock, I'm going to the dentist. It's currently 8.54. I'm eating my last real meal for probably like the week. Very unfortunate because I have a birthday dinner to go to tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, for the rest of today, it's looking like applesauce. I took off of clinic for the whole day. So I'm going to be sitting in the house, editing videos, studying, chilling, whatever. But I'm gonna eat this meal, enjoy some solid food for what may be the last time for a few days. When I got my buckle for next to me, it was applesauce for like 48 hours straight. That's all I could do. Um, unless I took pain medicine, I think it was fine with the Advil. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna document the whole thing so y'all can see and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, currently walking. I'm about to walk up to the dentist right now. the office. Oh. Yep. I know Good, how are you? Hello, hello. Hey. Oh, we, we recording this? Yeah, okay. I'm vlogging right, cool. for my channel. <laughs> Ready to have some fun? Yeah. Okay, it shouldn't be anything too bad. Yeah. So usually when we numb you up for this, I'll put some topical under the tongue and then we'll just kind of do some direct lingual injections. I'm okay. not going to like try to go for like a lingual block or anything like that. You don't really need it. Okay. If you feel like any heat during the procedure, obviously let me know. Mm -hmm. um, so let's start getting you numb. Let me just take a look at the, you know, the frenum there and then mm -hmm. uh, get you numb and then kind of do this thing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. A lot of times it's happening when you're an infant. Or there's yeah. like, you know, 
like breastfeeding problems, things like that. Okay. So everyone, this is oh. Dr. Waisaki. Hello. Um, and yeah, we're going to do right. a lingual phenomenon today. So lift that tongue up for me. Good, good. Let's get a nice topical here. You can close down on that. Good. Give that about two, three minutes. I had like this tiny fear that I could develop a lisp. Is that possible? I don't think you will. You, is anything possible? Theoretically, yeah, yeah. But am I like overly concerned with this? No, not to be honest with you. Yeah. So this is the uh, the glasses for the laser. I'm gonna really let that topical soak in there a couple minutes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the injection. <laughs> Can't lie. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna open for me. Just keep that tongue lifted up. Poke right here. Doing pretty good? Mm -hmm. cool. You can record the injection maybe if you want, or if you want me to do the second one, because I'm going to pull out and do the other side. Okay. Or, you know, if you want, actually, I'm putting a sit and plane in right now, and then I'm going to load it up with uh, Subdicane, mm -hmm. so you'll be already numb at that point, so you might have more control of the camera. Let me just do a little second point right here. A little poke. Not bad, right? I know, I'm good. <laughs> so that's the first injection with sit on that flame so it doesn't burn as bad. Mm. Now I'll switch out the stuff though. I didn't feel that at all. Good. <laughs> Gonna pretty much touch up the exact same spots, tongue up and back, yep. Yeah. Go right in here. Nothing, right? Mm -mm. Sweet. Splash more on the other side. I mean, we see how the anesthesia kind of like raises the floor of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes the frenum look a little less pronounced because everything underneath it is now higher. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably give this about 15 minutes to fully kick in. Okay. And also be absorbed by your body a little bit so that that tissue's not so puffy for us. Okay. Let me get you a little suction. I know that tastes great. Close down. Cool. All right. I'm gonna sit you up. You're, you could take the laser shades off. So yeah. I can't feel my tongue at all, but I did not feel those injections at all. Like, he put the topical first. I can't feel my tongue at all. He put the topical first so that it would, like, alleviate the pain of the needle. But I did not feel that needle at all, and I'm definitely numb. I cannot feel my tongue. Meaning, I'm gonna stop talking before I bite my tongue. And yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Try this. Now open. Lift your tongue up. Just coming in with a little chlorhexidine right now. Just gonna get the area as clean as we can. Tongue up. Cool. There we go. Okay. Lift your tongue up and size it. You can close down. I'm gonna keep some pressure on uh, some gauze under the tongue for a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Lift your tongue up high as you can. See how much more range of motion you have now? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get some more gauze. I can never do it. Before. What's that? I can never like you put my. That yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty so cool. Weird. That looks a little bloody in there, but it's really not bad. You're gonna close down. Cool. Package him up some gauze. Wow. 
So for the next several, you know, next couple hours, just like if we had extracted a tooth, I'm gonna want to keep some gauze pressure under there to minimize any post-op bleeding. Mm -hmm. You may have a little bit of discomfort um, when the Novocaine wears off. I did use Septo, so you should be in the clear for, you know, at least three and a half hours here before you start regaining any feeling. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to call you in a prescription for Paradex mouthwash. Okay. I'm gonna want you to rinse with it, you know, like three times a day for the next week or two while it heals up. No real hard and fast rules on that one. You know, if there's no such thing as like rinsing too regularly with it, just mm -hmm. to keep everything disinfected. Mm -hmm. You don't need any like oral antibiotics or steroids or anything like that. Okay. If for some reason the pain is kind of bad to the point where Tylenol and ibuprofen combined isn't letting, you know, kind of getting it where we need to, Give us a call if we need to call you in something stronger. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's not a problem on my end, but for something like this, because it heals usually pretty uneventfully, mm -hmm. I'm not expecting you to need it, but please don't feel weird about reaching out if the pain control isn't where okay. you want it, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to change that gauze probably every 30 minutes or so. Um, you may notice a decent amount of bleeding there. You know, lingual area has a lot of blood vessels, as you're aware, yeah. um, but nothing too crazy. In terms of, you know, post-op stuff here, you're gonna to wanna to avoid things that are gonna irritate the area, so anything like spicy, salty, basically if you don't wanna really get it on a canker sore, you don't wanna get it on this. Um, you're gonna do the tongue exercises, you know, multiple times a day. At least 20 times throughout the day, stick your tongue out, you know, straight out. Do the like 20 licks of ice cream cone as well. Mm -hmm. And do that several times throughout the day. At a minimum 20 times, but I really want you kind of like almost every hour for the next couple days. Mm -hmm. Just kind of set a reminder on your iPhone, stick that tongue out, and lift it up, okay? Okay. As it's healing, it may encourage a little bit of bleeding, possibly as yeah. it kind of tears open, but just kind of keep the gauze in there in the interim until it stops. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, any questions for me? A lot easier no. than you thought it was going to yeah. be. You didn't feel a single thing. <laughs> Not right? a thing. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. you did it. Um, and then, like I said, if we need to go back in and release any more after this one heals or if there is any reattachment, just reach out um, for like a touch up like that. I usually do it at no cost mm -hmm. if, uh, if needed. Um, it should be good to go. All right. Sound good? Cool. Okay. Just got home. Hold on. Just got home. This gauze, I'm going to replace. So I'm going to replace the gauze. I'm still numb, as you can tell from how I'm talking. <laughs> but something we learned in dental school is that you want to you want to tell your patient to get ahead of the pain. So even though I'm still numb, it's gonna wear off. And I want to take my pain meds, over counter pain meds. Um, like my doctor said, try Advil first. If Advil doesn't resolve the pain. You do like a combination of Advil and Tylenol. It has a syn synergistic effect. I can't talk for anything because I'm still numb. My tongue feels so fat. So I'm not going to say much. I'm getting ahead of the pain. I'm going to put a new gauze. And then uh, maybe like an hour or so, I'll go to a pharmacy so I can pick up my uh, mouthwash. A little watered down hatch. Two ibuprofen. Ugh. I cannot feel my mouth. I hope I swallowed those. I really don't know. I think I did. Hey everybody. So it's now Monday morning, which means I am like almost one week post-op. Uh, everything has pretty much returned to normal except like the under of uh, the underside of my tongue is still healing. So it's like white. A little bit healing. But it's doing fine. Um, everything feels really normal. Uh, it's just like still a little stiff under there. But it doesn't, it's like no pain. It's no pain. Maybe sometimes when I like stick my tongue, when I like move it too far. But... Yeah, virtually no pain. I haven't taken pain medication in days, so good. So if you're worried about pain, it's really not bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. wasn't as bad as when I got my buckle for nectomy when I was in high school. I got this one clipped. Uh, yeah, we are nearing a week post-op. And um, 
I'll come back and update at like two weeks post-op. And then that'll be it for the video. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more then. But for right now, doing just fine. Hey, y'all. I guess I'll do an update now on my phrenectomy. Because we are officially two weeks from when I had it done. Um, so healing is, I would say, like all, pretty much all almost there. Um, no pain. Feels like, you know, like my tongue is pretty much getting back to normal. I think the whole recovery is like four weeks. Um, so the whiteness has pretty much gone away. And I haven't really looked under there myself in a while. So a little bit of whiteness left because it's still healing. But for the most part, it's gone away. Um, and yeah. I think that'll end the video off here. Um, I just wanted to document this experience because I was looking for something from an adult. Because most people get this done when they're like small children. Um, and I couldn't, like I found like one video and I feel like it, you know, it just didn't document the whole experience like this did. I know that most of my subscribers probably don't really care to watch this video or are interested in this video. but. You know, as someone in the dental profession, um, I want to help people any way I can. So helping people feel more comfortable going to the dentist, having procedures done, etc. If I can lead by example, that's the way I'll do it. And, you know, someone might come on YouTube looking for someone to share their experience the way I did. So that's the reason why I made this video. Um, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel. Peace.